Ah, uh, yeah, Twist Twist knows what I'm talking about. He and I put up with one guy who uh, who was trying to make an excuse to bring a peaceful discussion uh, about why he doesn't like Disney, uh, despite for bringing up a, a, a comparison. But no, bringing politics and making it peaceful? No, that's, that's your one-week ticket to not being my friend. Yeah, because politics are like, politics are never a pe peaceful discussion. Yeah. Yeah, but you both I mean. politics and religion, they're you not the best. Politics and religion are are two things that will ruin a friendship. It's like, you know, this is like me trying to say the word politics is like, or trying to say it clearly, it's like the equivalent of JonTron saying Florida and then flame comes out of his mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> my, my boss is like a staunch Republican and he always listens to Rush Limbaugh loudly as we work. Yeah. I mostly have liberal opinions, but I don't you know, always exp but I don't always want to publicize them too much. Yeah, I've always tried to keep anything related to politics and such like that to mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. private in the privacy of my own home because I don't want to. Because yeah. I know it that? always leads to a lot of great unnecessary chaos in the end. Yep. I um. The only thing I really have to say about politics is I have my own special nickname for politics. Ooh. Wait, Uno and Mario Party destroys friendships? What? Okay, never mind. Mario Party does destroy friendships. Oh god. Okay, what would you- what is it, Logic? What do you call it? Yeah. So my special nickname for politics is dumb people thinking they know better than smart people. I agree! <laughs> I can agree! I can agree! <laughs> One of my friends Whoa. once said, Hold on, this is a section I don't know being about. Being dumb is when you're temporarily stupid on accident. Being stupid is when you're just being dumb on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, what's down here? That's a good one, Felix. <laughs> Ooh, missile. Yeah, I I, I have not thought of Mario Party a, being a, a source of ruining friendships. I thought Smash Brothers was the yeah. I thought no. Smash Brothers was the no. issue. Okay. No, Mario Party. If you... Okay, so the thing on Mario Party, if you don't think Mario Party ruins friendships, you haven't played it hard enough. Yeah, I haven't played it with a group uh, of people. Most of my, okay, like, most Smash. of my experience when it comes to games that quote-unquote ruin friendships was Smash Brothers Brawl. Uh, I, I, I played, I played Brawl a lot with the, with two, with two friends of mine in high school, and they were just threatening and becoming such assholes to me, they stopped, they stopped hanging out with me when, it, it, when I keep beating their asses a lot. Oh, boo fucking who? Yeah, they were so pissed at me. They really? wanted me gone. They they wanted me to kick me out of their house, and this was during my friend's birthday who invited me. Man, fuck ah, those cool. bitch ass niggas. <laughs> yeah. Whips. Oh. I, think he, I think he's allowed. I think he's allowed to say that because he's black. No, no, I, yeah, that's bro. not the reason. I just think it's funny of how exaggerated and how, like. Hysterical, he was being there. Like, he, he feels yep. your pain, and it comes to something on that magnitude. It's like, god damn, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, cutscene. Like... <laughs> Samus, we're done here. Leave the like, rest of the veneration. So the only person who knows how to get savage when pissed. Mm hmm. We should be preparing to yeah, evacuate the station. You, Cause, god damn. Guys, we gotta, we gotta cutscene. Are you joking? This is not. Do they know how dangerous the X are? How quickly are they gonna reproduce? The Federation has taken an interest in the X and the SAX. They believe this life form has endless potential applications. This is ridiculous! The X are heartless abominations! What potential could they have? It is not necessary that you understand ma uh, such matters. The Federation is coming now. You should just leave quietly. This is madness! They won't stand a chance here! This station will devour them! What could be worth the risk? Captain the SAX, of course. Are you serious? Do they really think they can succeed? It will certainly be difficult. They don't expect your help. They knew you would try to destroy the SAX. That's why they stopped sending you support data. The plasma modification was ready some time ago, but they withheld uh, it to keep you from engaging the SAX. Yet somehow you restored that function on your own. They also tried to withhold the diffusion missile upgrade because they didn't want you to grow too powerful. But they had already sent it and you tracked it down. Bravo, Samus. They must cancel this mission. Open a chance to uh, HQ. I won't let this happen. They are already on their way. Fools. 
So it's yeah. a race against time to kill all the SAX. Well, no, there's more. As soon as the Federation ships land, the S uh, X will overwhelm them and absorb their knowledge and power of their occupants. The X are just waiting for the hunt to begin. And then they'll spread across the universe. Galactic civilization will end. The X hunger from the X hunger form, knowledge, and power, but they mimic these perfectly. They cannot copy the soul. They're single minded, instinctively seeking to increase in number. They're a plague, and the Federation underestimates their threat. The X must not leave here. They, I must destroy them all before the Federation arrives. This station has a self-destruct mechanism. I must use it to destroy the X there and on the planet. I must send them to the obli uh, Oblivion. Them, the station, and myself, if I have to. Oh. Oh, I guess I can't go back and save. Wait, what? Oh, I, I guess there's more. Open the hatch. I have been ordered to confide you until the ships arrive. Don't let them do this. Can't you see what will happen, Adam? Adam? Whoops. Mm -hmm. Who's Adam? A friend of mine. And what would this friend advise you to do now? He would know what the only way to end, um that the only way to end this is to start the self-destruct cycle. He'd know how to imp uh, how important this is. Did this Adam care for you? Would he sit in a ca uh, save command room and order you to die? He would understand that some must live and some must die. He knew what it meant. He made that sacrifice once. So, he chose life for you, our fair warrior, Samusaran. Your Adam gave his life so that you might keep yours for the sake of the universe. How foolish. How dare you? How could you hope to understand, machine? You know that uh, detonating the station in high orbit would not guarantee the complete extinction of the parasites, even though the station would be utterly destroyed. You would only succeed in removing one obstacle, the galaxy's ruin, yourself. You would ignore the simple fact that you and chose death. And then when Adam decided who would live, he chose incorrectly. If you were in, uh, to alter the station's orbit, then you might be able to include the planet in the vaporization field the self-destruct um, detonation. You would have to start the propulsion sequence now, before the Federation arrives. Samus, this is your last mission. Go to operations room and adjust the... I couldn't finish it all. Oh. And adjust the station's orbit path to in, uh, intercept SR-388. And then return to your ship and escape. Move quickly and stay alive. That's in order. Any objections, lady? Wow, well, fuck this guy. Well, the thing is, it's a machine, so it doesn't know any better. Okay, fuck this machine. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> this shit, I'm out. You want to try and emulate human behavior? Try the one that doesn't make you sound like a fucking douchebag. <laughs> human Humaning 101, you outdated software piece. Hmm. Uh, whoever, let's see, uh, Wait, screw, screw that Adam or Blame Teen Ninja or whoever wrote Other M. You mean the baby? <laughs> oh, what? yes, that term always integrated into the head for anybody who played it. Every time I hear the, every time someone mentions Other M, I just say the baby. <laughs> that's what she always, that's what Sam has always says, the baby, that's it. <laughs> Got annoyed after a while, didn't it? And yeah, I yeah I can pretty much um, identify with um, with Josh the how much I did not like Other M. I saw all the cutscenes and it was just bad. Yeah. Bruh, I, I don't care what anybody says. Other M was a good game. It's got okay gameplay, but the story itself is just. Ugh. Yeah, I think it's more to do with yeah. the story that people may have taken issue with on the game. I am fucking saving. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. The story was people was kind of trash. Yeah, I, I think like I, I've never played Metroid Other M, um, but I'm only taking everything that's said with a pinch of salt. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Right. Sometimes that's the best way to like, do it. Like, like they, basically the majority, the basically to sum up the story, is like she's trying to save the station, but at the same time she's like, 
This is Commander of mine I've known for years. I think I like him, but I'm not sure if I do. Huh, interesting. Yeah, basically they just made her kind of pathetic. Yeah. <laughs> like, he has to save her ass a couple of times. And it, it, it gets really redundant. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like that was one of the main issues. They took Samus and turned her into a child that had to be chaperoned by somebody else. They turned her into a, like, yeah. they turned her into an old-timey Disney princess. <laughs> you may now... Burn! You may now commence your, uh... How do I get this damn super bomb upgrade? Fucking hell! Also, also, the reason I say it like that is because, like, in that Wreck-It Ralph 2 movie... Oh, here we go. I was like, I Yay. refuse to call it Ralph Breaks the Internet, but in Wreck-It Ralph 2, they have that little princess skit where the princesses are making a big deal about how, oh, everybody says that all of their problems were fixed by men, but then you look at half the Disney movies that involved princesses, and then you realize, yeah, because that's what happened. Well, the majority of them, yes. Not all of them. Yeah. It's like, I'm not saying it was all of them, but, like, you can't just say that, oh, everybody just assumes that this man saved my life. And I was like, oh, I must have missed the scene where Aurora threw the sword into the dragon's heart. Oh, wait. Oh, that's where it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's not what happened, is it? Nope. But out of all of them, the ones that I and... definitely would say should not have said that to begin with, Snow White? And... Beauty. Uh, it's hard to say it was Cinderella the because technically the original one, the, it didn't. That didn't happen. Basically, the... she did save herself by saving that spare glass slipper. So technically, that is the only exception in that time period. Oh wait, like, the thing the that bothers way. me the most about it is that, as you say, not all Disney movies have it that way, which means there's like a decent disconnect between the half of Disney movies that have the female protagonist fight through all of her troubles without aid. And then the other half where, you know, the quote-unquote big strong men are there to help us when we need them. And I was like, well, yeah, that's the part of the narrative because that's how the story went. But now I'm just sitting here thinking, oh, so now you're just going to treat it like everybody's just assuming based on the whole, you know, what actually happened, that that thing actually happened. And it just yeah. makes them seem like bitches bitching for the sake of bitching about the fact that they're not getting the respect they deserve even though everybody does, in spite of the nature of half of their stories being exactly what they describe, even though they think it's not so. You're just no. bitching about remaining a bitch. Okay, Basically, um, I'm getting some soda. Okay, the, it's like, right. in my, yeah, from my, the way I see it, there's only a handful of Disney princesses that get to sit there and say that, you know, no one solved my problem for me. Fucking... Yeah. Uh forgot her name and we were talking about her during the last stream. Was like the girl from Brave? Yeah. No, um the one The one who pretended to be a guy to become a soldier. That's oh, Mulan. Mulan. Mulan, yeah. yeah. Mulan is like Mulan can preach the values of the strength of women all she likes because she proved She did. Because she's amazing because of what she accomplished. And she's like, then you go. It's like, Mu it's like Mulan can sit there and say, nobody helped me solve my problem. Someone like Aurora, who had the, who well, like in the story Mulan of sleep, too, she can't. We don't talk about that. Okay, so um, I hate to put the conversation to an end, but I just want to say, this is the moment where I'm finally facing Sam. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, so boy. I just want everybody to brace yourselves. Last part of the game of this whole Metroid Marathon, I just want to say to everybody who has participated, thank you for your time. Hopefully this will end on a good note, and the most encouraging way to start off with is... Nice! Opening a cold one! Yeah. S-A-X. Alright. I think I said S-A-M. Yeah, you said yeah. S-A-M. I said S I am. I, I meant S- <laughs> You said I am. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. No, Samus is now a Dr. Seuss character. That's Samus. That's Semi-M. That's Semi-M. I don't like Semi-M with her green eggs and ham done. Ow! Like